one. Guys, welcome back, Dom here. Now, if I was to write a headline for this and post it, I would simply say, stop. Time to unlock your potential and transform your life with a consistent sleep schedule. Now, what the hell? Oh, okay, sleep, mastering sleep and recovery is an important factor in what we do. It doesn't make a difference. It's not just a fitness thing. It's just a you and me thing coping with the day to day. So we're gonna talk about mastering sleep and particularly sleep schedules in today's video. So I'm gonna read some notes because I've made them, otherwise I'm just gonna babble on like some guy in the corner pub, right? So, unlocking your potential, transform your life, da, 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 da. we're gonna talk about that, we're gonna talk about why sleep is important, particularly your sleep schedule and how that can pretty much supercharge your recovery routines. First of all, Establishing a regular bedtime, we all know that's the case, and also we talk about wake-up time. It's good for you to simply regulate the body's internal clock. We use the term circadian rhythm. So here are a couple of points. There's only four or five we're gonna go through that'll help you understand a little bit more about why that's important, and particularly how that impacts rest and recovery. Number one, circadian rhythm. Our body has a natural internal clock, right? It regulates the feelings of when we are sleepy, when we're wakeful, when we should wake up, particularly from that dream. Now, aligning your sleep schedule with your body's natural rhythm is how you can optimize your sleep. Now, why is that important? Shift workers. Shift workers are the classic. Your body's circadian rhythm, so things like sunlight, heat and stuff and energy throughout the day, but more importantly, those things will adjust when your body is. So if you're going in to do some uh, afternoon shift or some type of shift work, those people will typically find that the first couple of nights, they really, really struggle. It sucks. And then once they're in a rhythm for a period of time, then the body's circadian rhythm will change to adapt to the new environment. It still gets screwed because when you go outside and it is dark, and then you're waking up and it is light, the body's just going, what the hell's going along? But nevertheless, the sooner you get into that new pattern, the better off you are. And likewise too, that applies for those of us that do travel frequently, particularly to other time zones that are more than just a two hour difference like here in Australia, but from us flying from here to the US, we leave in the morning, we've got to get some sleep in the plane because we arrive there in the morning and vice versa. We leave there at night and we arrive here in our morning and if we don't sleep on the plane, we are literally screwed for the first couple of 24 hours. Now, number two, why is it important? It creates a relaxing bedtime routine. We all know what it's like, particularly those that have got kids. However, for some reason, when we're an adult, all plans go out, we just don't give a shit. But with their kids, we know it's about keeping a consistent routine. If you were like me, when people would come to visit or would go and visit family, Quite literally, it was, fuck off, leave me alone. I'm getting the kid into bed because if I don't do that now, it's a fucking nightmare for the rest of the night and therefore I'm not gonna sleep and then I'm the grumpy bastard that's gonna deal with the kid who's also a grumpy little shit because we haven't hit the routines. Now, whether it's you taking a read, and I don't mean on the phone, I mean actually like your book, pen and paper, whether it's meditating, whether you are a warm bath person or a cup of hot cocoa, whatever that is for you and me, and me, I've got something in my eye, then you want to establish a routine. Three, limit the screen time. You and I both know, because currently you're seeing this thing potentially on the screen also too. The blue light that gets emitted, and these are blue light blocking, go forbid, and therefore down playing that or turning it down is what you want to do. There's that old rule, three, two, one, three hours before bedtime, stop eating, two hours, stop drinking, one hour, get rid of screens, I would turn around and say get rid of screens a lot hell of a lot sooner than that one hour, unless you've got to be absolutely on for a reason, then get something that's got that blue light blocking. They're not the orange ones that you see Dave Asprey wear, these ones can also do them now with my prescription. Optimize your sleep environment. So what does that mean? That means setting it up so that when you go into sleep, you're there to sleep. Now I know most of you adults, the bedtime is also play time, I get that, but when it's time to go to sleep, we optimize it. So therefore, an air environment that is cool. A lot of people coming into winter time like to have the room warm. No, make it cool. Get under the covers. Get Let your body regulate itself to bring it down. Okay, completely shut out all forms of light. Turn the clock down. If your phone has to be in there, power it all the way down. Put it off a of vibrate. Put it face down so that you don't get any light. And 
enjoy the darkness. Now, that will overall enhance our sleep experience. And the final thing is, it's about being consistent. Monday morning, we see people suffer from, quite simply, jack lag. They do Monday to Friday pretty well, and then suddenly Friday night and Saturday night, and maybe even a bit of Sunday night, fuck it, I'm out there partying till all hours of the morning, and then come Monday, I feel like shit. It's like I've been hit by the truck, or like I said, I've just got off a long haul flight, and I'm struggling to function. Therefore, for you and I, the best thing we can do is be consistent. Now, that might not work for you. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'm not a social butterfly. I have a consistent routine. It is seven days a week, and it has not changed for God knows how many years. I'll make sure I go to bed at the same time, right? If I feel like I'm gonna to go to bed a little bit earlier, I'll even let myself stay up a little bit more to hit the same time so that my body goes in and regulates, but I'm waking up at exactly the same time, Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Next thing on these notes, what should we do? Well, prioritize this and that'll help us. It helps from our recovery. It helps with going in. It even helps with digestion for Christ's sake, particularly if we had a big meal. But having a consistent pattern, you will find you become less of a shit, less of an a-hole, less of a bitch, whatever your persuasion, whatever your pronouns are going to be, by mastering sleep and recovery. It's not just throwing around some weights. It's not just doing the marathon run, becoming the hybrid athlete, hitting high rocks or Spartan or anything else, or everyone's favorite, jujitsu. It's not about that. It's about you and your body simply having time to be down, to regulate itself, to get back up. Now, what happens? What happens if we don't do this? Hmm, we have the risk of sleep disorders. So things like irregular sleeping patterns, insomnia, sleep deprivation, and other types of orders. Now, if you don't know what that feels like, I'm gonna challenge you, plan ahead. See what it's like to function on fuck all sleep. See if you can go a day. See if you can do two days. See what it's like to go three. This is the reason why they do this in the Navy SEAL stuff, because they want to see how people can manage that impairment and their cognitive function. And more importantly, they know when not to do something. Right? Sleep deprivation is a thing. And if you're in, <laughs> in charge of a car, manual labor tools, not a smart thing to do. Impaired cognitive function, you know, blibbering, memory, stuff like this, the concentration, decision-making abilities, all of those go out the window, and you and I both know that, particularly if we had a big night the night before, and you're coming into work the following day, and there's an important meeting. Nothing worse than that. Mood disturbances, hmm, sleep patterns, who's woken up and just be grumpy as shit because they haven't had their sleep, or they've had poor quality sleep, or their kids have woken up, whatever, if you're a parent, you'll know what I'm talking about, but mood disturbances, that feeling of anxiety, some people get in a depressive state also too. It's not just you're a grumpy old C. There are a variety of how that affects us. Immune function. When we are not sleeping properly, and when we're not getting that restorative period where our brain can down regulate and all that type of stuff, we then start to see things like our immune system get compromised. Our immune system will get coughs, colds, flus, infections, and all that shit that's going around. It's not just a sunlight thing. It's not just a vitamin C or echinacea thing. If we're not getting enough recovery, i.e. through our sleep, then we're going to find we're at risk of that immunocompromised, funny namey thing. And the final thing, further chronic health diseases. Long-term stuff, chronic health diseases. Obesity, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, poor sleep reg regulation, metabolism fucked up the wazoo, all that type of stuff can all be managed by us getting better sleep. And if you think, Dom, you're full of shit, that's bullshit, I'm gonna simply ask you to do one thing. For one week, for one week, that's it. Lock it out. Go to bed at a set time, get up at a set time. Do everything else during the day like normal, but get your environment ready, hit the sack, Go to sleep. You're going to fuck around, fuck around. But go to sleep. Get a good solid sleep. Wake up. Do that for a week and come back and tell me, Dom, you're full of shit. That didn't work. Because it will work. And if it didn't work, then I'd lovely have a chat with you because I want to find out why you're the fucking unicorn out there where something as simple as sleep doesn't work for you.
So sleep, it's a big pillar in everything that we do. It's not just a workout thing. As you said, it's cognitive function, it's being impaired, it's having our immune system, all of that type of stuff. And it's a simple thing is you and I sitting down and going, snoring is optional.